Warning! The following audio may contain coarse language and other material that may not be suitable for a younger audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Also, we may spoil anything and everything, so you have been warned. You know, you know, yeah, speaking of Sarah, how hype are you to watch <laughs> Gay Stage 2014? <laughs> no, not as hype as Jean was. I'm so hype. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Just because I haven't oh. watched any, like, Shonen Ai slash Yaoi since Sekaiichi Hatsukai Season 2. Man. And this is just, like, I don't know. It's a gem for me. Comes out every it's, once in a while. It's also one of the first Yaoi that's, like, not animated by Studio Dean. It's animated by JC staff, which makes Wait, it yeah. possibly decent. <laughs> They're just, like, the freaking... It's because it looks like it has a girl as why. Yeah. In the genre tags, it says gender bender. And it's, it's, that's the really misnomer, because it's not a gender bender. Yeah. He just dresses in drag. I know, because I've read the manga. Of course you've read the manga. You're our resident <laughs> range of yeah. raging for Joshi. It's kind of, it's a gender bender. That, that's, it falls under the same jurisdiction. But I'm not, well. really. I hate most yaoi. <laughs> this is like the infinite scroll on Tumblr. It's like we moved on from Black Bo- uh, from uh, Book of Circus to fucking Love Stage. But the thing is that, like... I hate most yaoi, because most yaoi is just disgusting. Um, and this one was less disgusting because it's actually romance, and they actually, like, so, have ha- chemistry. I don't had know, you, the yaoi um, that I've seen hasn't been disgusting. Have you, had you read this, like, before this has been this had been announced, or did you read it in preparation? No, I read it before it had been announced. Okay, so is, is this quite popular? Because they, they seem to be bringing their A-game on this. They've got Michike uh, Yakote, like, from yeah. the, the writer of Genshik and, and Princess Tutu. And the director did Honey and Clover. Yeah, so. Junjo Romantica is probably the most popular yaoi ever. These are some talented yeah, people. Yeah, Junjo Romantica is probably the most popular yaoi ever, and this is getting close to rivaling that popularity. Man, so... Junjo Romantica was so popular when I was coming out. Like the second season, I remember when it came out. Yeah, and it was just and this waves is of fans. getting just... very close to the popularity I... of that. So it's it's interesting. Shout outs to Ramen Bear. <laughs> I think what's interesting. <laughs> the weirdest part is that I'm, I'm actually I'm <laughs> fully like... intending to watch this. <laughs> Like yeah. I've, oh I, yeah, I'm totally gonna. I have every intention of watching this because the main character yep. looks like a girl, and I can, <laughs> if I can keep teaching myself that, <laughs> just, it's just, all right. Just and then he also he also gets like a wig on and like makeup and and that other guy, the darker character, the darker. Yeah, and he also wears a wedding dress in the PV, and it was great. <laughs> yeah. I'm also gonna say though, just from looking at like some of the stuff I looked up for it, the art style I hate. I think it looks horrible. Oh yeah, I hate the art style too. The eyes. It looks. It's, it's disgusting. The eyes is like he's got like these huge eyelashes, and you're just. Like, do you have a caterpillar resting on your eyelids? Because, wow. It's just like everything about his, their faces are just the wrong shape. It just yeah. looks wrong. Like, I think it looks great. Like, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like the guy's... Ch- proof Gene is more of a Yaoi fan than I am. I love it. The, the guy's chin looks like a letter opener. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like a t- guitar Man. pick. That's not the case, Ken. You obviously haven't seen Code Geass. Not as bad as Junjo Romantica. You need to see Junjo Romantica before you judge Yaoi chins. <laughs> Junjo Romantica, they had, like, block chins. They did. Like, their, their chins were trapezoids. It was just flat out, just like... So, like, box cutters? Yeah, they were like box cutters. <laughs> and it blended into their necks? Yeah, it was... Oh Junjo Romantica, the, the dyke it, in the series, it. was just, like... He had just a box cutter chin. It was pretty great. <laughs> he, was pretty but, um, he also made manga, like everyone else. <laughs> That's all right. But uh, Love Stage looks like one of those shows where, um, I kn- like, by looking at it, I probably wouldn't like it, but the content may very well be pretty damn good. So I'm, I'm going to probably check it out at some point. Funny, I think the funniest thing I would just like to mention before we move on is that it was the director was the same director as Miracle Train. Which is Kenichi. <laughs> oh, but- the hentai, not hentai. <laughs> I, 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 man, I want to watch Miracle Train so hard just because it's about trains, but I have heard it is the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, like- that's why I, I've heard it's, I've heard it's, well, when me and Garment first saw it, I think we talked about it before, we're like, this is the, how is this not a hentai? It has like everything about it, even the aesthetics of it. And we're like, what the fuck is this? And, <laughs> and then the guy with the mask comes out and you're like... Yeah, and we're like, whoa, he's about to rape everyone. <laughs> it's like, there's a girl trapped on the train with like five... With seven or like, yeah, six or five guys. Seven Bishonen looking guys. Yeah. And you're just like, this girl's about to get fucked in five different ways. And then the guy, <laughs> and then a really, a, a really shady looking conductor comes out with a mask on. <laughs> oh, like, oh man, this, this, is, this girl's about to get dick. And was, then, it, was it sure reasonable though? <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. like a Shah It was like a Shah mask. <laughs> it was pretty Shaznable. 
<laughs> yeah, and then it just it just doesn't happen. You're just like, yeah, she just, well, what is the point? Of she just animal? goes home. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, she just gets her dog and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I, I think it's a euphemism, but uh, <laughs> let's let's move on to uh, Majimoji Rumoro. Another, AG, uh, another Rumoro. JC Staff one. Yep. Yeah, this and one is like the Shonen JC Staff one that they're working on. Yeah, and it's, it's got the most cliche plot line. I see that. Yeah, of, of, it's just he like just seriously for the girl. The, the guy is he's the most perverted guy in school. Yeah, and Jesus. then he summons. He's like, I want to summon a witch. And he summons a witch. He's like, yo, Bill Dandy, get in here. It's like, seriously. That's, I can't name how many shows I've seen wherein it's literally like this guy's meant to be a pervert and then randomly a girl appears in his life out of nowhere. And then obviously she's going to have to be inducted into the school and it's going to be like blah, blah, blah. But I think it's going to be brilliant because it's got the same original mangaka as Yoopeda and Yoopeda is amazing. So probably good. Hopefully Hopefully good. I'll Maybe just you'd not bother with it just because it sounds so cliche. Man, Gene, we don't need to know how much you're not going to watch. Let's just change the game and make it what you're watching. Let's keep yeah. it more interesting. Every show, Gene's like, I'm not going to watch this. I'm not going to watch this. I'm not going to watch this. I'm going to watch this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So from now on, Gene, tell us what you are going to watch. Prove Otherwise, we'll just assume you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Proof that Gene's a bigger Yaoi fan than I am. Uh, yeah, no. that's true. <laughs> but the next one, which is uh, Mina Radiva. Man, I, I was like, when I was looking this up, I was like, I don't get this. It's just like, and then, um, I, it's just like another p- like CG idol. Yeah, it's another idol. No. CG I'm going to put my hand oh, up for this one and say that I, I, I honestly wouldn't class this as anime. Yeah, because it is yeah. being aired live, literally, um, as it's being animated with Mika Mika dance. With, oh um, my like, god! No, with body, no, with body, like. Oh man! Shout out to Ruby. By the way, and it, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Body suit. It's literally going to be performed live through people in like a motion capture suits. What being projected through Miku Miku dance? It's going to be like an hour long TV so, time slot. What the and fuck? And it's literally people in motion capture suits being animated. That is the dumbest shit ever. That is so fucking cool, Gene. <laughs> an no. hour long. Miku Miku dance is like. The worst. MMD is. But it's it's live action. It's live acted anime. It, yeah. It's like that's mental. It's not. It's, it's not going to be like shitty animation. MMD. It's going to be like poor Actual acting. MMD. MMD. <laughs> yeah. So Man. I think this this has the, the potential Antichrist. to be the only music based show that's worse than Love Life. Oh man. I think that sounds awesome. I'll have to get back to you on that one because I'll see it. Yeah, I'm gonna no. see it too. <laughs> Man, Gene, no. I'm just going to revoke... I'll, I'll uh, give my first impression review on it. Well, it's going to be sure, your first and last, because sure. I think it's going to be one thing. Yeah, I think but... it's literally going to be one hour-long thing. I'm reviewing it as soon as I... <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Gene! Well, good luck with that. Do, do a fucking fail stream where you watch it with everyone. Yeah, why not? Oh, man, that's going to be a blast. I'm so excited. Oh, my God, Gene. Wow. I oh, can't Holden. Wait. <laughs> Holden. Yeah. The next show. What do you think? Oh, Momoku and Sword? Yeah. Thing, Man, Holden. dude, are you kidding me? I'm all over this shit. Man. Yeah, I, I know. I saw it. And I'm like, this is all Holden. Man, the most, the most, like, weirdest thing about it was the fact that when you're watching it, it has, like, the classic trope, which a lot of anime have nowadays, which is to promote the idea that these women have been using, like, car buffers on their body and they're, they're sparkly. Yeah. They have, like, this, like, a like a patch of red blush and then, like, a white dot on it and stuff, yeah. right? It's kind of like, um, and Gargantia. She, she <laughs> had it on her boobs and I was like, are her nipples just, like, in a weird place? <laughs> and, like, are they just on, like, the crest? I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, no. no but the it's thing not- is, they, they always do that kind of, like, shoe buffer sheen on, like, breasts, but also, like, elbows and knees. And butts. Yes. Which is just completely wrong, because boobs aren't made of the same thing as elbows and knees. And shoulders. Yeah, yeah, they're made of, like, like hope and, like, <laughs> <made> salvation. <laughs> and dreams. And knees are made of just, like, skateboard fail. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's like Callous. alligator skin. Yeah, yeah alligator the, skin. The, the reason why scar I'm, tissue. I'm interested to watch this show, though, is that it is the follow-up um, from Project Number 9, and they made um, recently. My sister is unusual. Oh god! Oh, oh really? That no. show was hilarious, and literally, like, they'd made next to nothing before that, and it's literally like this is their thing that they are doing after that, and it's just like okay. I think I feel like Project Number Nine is going to be like the next studio feel in terms of um, reputation. Oh yeah, this is going to be like my throwaway, like etchy. <laughs> Throw away. You Throw mean away. I'm gonna watch all of this shit and then have an in-depth analysis on why it's the best? <laughs> no, that's well, we you, can Holden. Talk, Holden. 
That's you. If we're going to talk about stuff that you can throw away, can we just talk about Nobunaga Concerto? Because Stop with the histo- Well, it's Japan. I don't fucking care, though. Nobunaga is just tissues now. You can just... You're just meant to blow your nose in them and just toss them. Yeah. Or just toss off to them and throw them away. No matter what, it's just to throw them away. And I think this show would be no different. Strictly yes. on principle that it's fucking... Nobunaga? They, they need to just stop, man. Nobunaga is so freaking overplayed. Like, I know that's kind of a big deal in Japan. He's like their super Sugoi hero. <laughs> and I would have just been happy if they'd left it at Sagan Kubisara. Because Sagan Kubisara was cool because it had horses with exhaust pipes on them. <laughs> but this really? is like, he's a he's a time-traveling young boy who must become Nobunaga. It's like, okay. Just, can we just, like... I, I think they should have taken Nobunaga on as a sign that they should never use Nobunaga in anything ever again. Well, that didn't happen, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. Well, the next thing is a lot better, though. Yeah. Which is also another recut, which is Persona 4, the golden animation, uh, not the Holden animation. <laughs> I think what's interesting about this one is that they're actually making it strictly on the fact that, that Mary's in it. Yeah. And I was like, so they're making this show just so they can animate Mary. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty like, sure yeah. it's literally going to be all of the stuff from the um, original Persona 4 anime with a couple of extra bits. Yeah, with Mary. And that's going to be it. Are you going to watch it's, it then? If... Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah totally. Mary's like best girl. Yeah. Mary and I didn't Yukiko watch the, are, like, the, best. the first yeah. season, so I guess I can't watch this just because. Play the game. It's real good. Yeah, yeah. play the game, Gene. Yeah, play Persona 3 first, because if you don't, you can never play it <laughs> after so, playing 4. are you saying I should yeah. skip Persona 4, yeah. the first season that they made, or the first series Yeah, that they and made? you should play You should play Persona yeah. 3, then Persona FES, 4. for PlayStation 2. Yeah. And then Persona 4, the golden. But if you have a Vita, you probably won't, because that's, that's an investment. That's a nice doorstop yeah. you got there. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm not wrong in saying it's a, it's an expensive paperweight at this point. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it's just, it's such a cool game. Yeah. And oh, I love it. it's a really, it's a pretty great adaptation. To be accurate, though, it would have to be like, like 48 hours long. <laughs> like it, it would just be so ungodly amount of just stuff. Yeah, I played it on easy and it was like 50 hours of gameplay. <laughs> yeah. You played it on easy. Yeah, I just wanted this, I just are wanted you, the story. Are you, are, you a, are you a three year old girl? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm playing it on hard now with, um, with uh, my second my, playthrough, so your second. All right, okay, okay. I trust you on this one. You better, <laughs> you better fucking go to that compendium and store all of those personas, dog. Oh but yeah. Speaking of you know reanimated hash, rehashing old shit. We have Psychopaths, the new edit version, um, which is just basically, to my understanding, gonna take the twenty-two episode length of the original and yeah. reroute it to an eleven. Episode forty-eight minute hour long s esque yeah. version of the show. I think that's which awesome. Is exactly what I was wanting. Yeah, yeah man, I was, yeah. I was talking uh, recently about how I want a forty-eight minute long just series. So I really want to check this out, especially yeah. since they're teasing at the idea of new cuts of footage. Right. So, yeah, you, usually, yeah. when they do this kind of thing, where it's like literally, yeah, let's make a film, which is just a recap of the series or whatever. But as this literally being like a um, a lead in to season two coming out in fall. Yes. I think this is a really good idea. It really and, um, is. Yeah. Like, I've, I've seen Psycho Pass twice now. I fucking yeah. love it. It was my favorite series of 2013. And I would happily rewatch it again somewhere, but it's cool. I now have a slightly different version to rewatch someone. Yes. Yeah. Wait, 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 Adam. Does this mean that this is a contender for anime of the year 2014? <laughs> 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 I wish I could. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be amazing. Psycho Pass takes it to a new two years in a Psycho Pass new edit version. I, I, don't, I don't think I can conclude that. Yeah. I don't think I can do that. I don't know about that. I need, I, need a ref- I need a refresher. So this is like the perfect way to just get into it again. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, it's a really good idea for them to literally be like, right. I mean, it wasn't even yeah. that long ago that the first season came out. Right. Yeah. But it it's was just last like, fall. yeah. Is um, we're, season two is coming out, so we're gonna yep. reshow season one again, but slightly different. It's I'm great. With that. I, I really I just... love how the studio's TBA at the moment, and I'm like, <laughs> guys, don't we? It's uh, fucking IG. Don't we know it's IG? I thought this is a <laughs> common knowledge at this point. Yeah. Watch it. They, they change it. It's like A1 Pictures. Studio <laughs> feel. Oh studio my god. Feel. Studio feel. Jesus. Arms. Arms. I, I, 
No, I quit if it's arms. <laughs> it's, it's probably not even a fucking... <laughs> I'll quit. It, it's probably, <laughs> literally, some prick in Windows Movie Maker. He pulls two freaking MP4s of, of the episodes, takes off the, the opening... Cuts off the ED and the OP, yeah. and then just shoves them together. It's like, bum, They're I'm done. <laughs> done. Studio, Studio Zebek. <laughs> <laughs> so no. I think it's a really interesting <laughs> way to compress an entire <laughs> 22 episode... To, to, it's a really interesting way to compress a, a series that once went across two seasons into one season. Yeah. I think that's yeah. like... I think it's really smart. Nah, guys, that's I got cool. it. It's fucking Team Four Star. <laughs> yeah. oh, basically yeah. that's not far off it's an abridged series in disguise guys run run oh, reanimated by um, semi classic Sonic fan yeah. <laughs> my, my boy God. I think there's going to be some genius out there <laughs> who, before, this, before this starts they're going to literally do as I said and edit two episodes together and then just put them on YouTube it says it already started the, uh, what? premiere date was June 6th wow. huh I mean, it's I'm possible. I don't How dare studio Quick, TV guys, is. go out and watch two episodes of Psycho Pass in one. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Man, next on the list is my wild card pick for anime of the season, if not year, which is Rail Wars. And man, <laughs> I'm so excited oh, for the series. I have been since I heard about it in like s- like months ago. I don't even know how long ago. But I, I want this so bad. Like, you have no idea. This is This is it. This is the one anime that I didn't expect anything from that's going to give me so much more than I expected. Like, for, from the freaking picture, it looks like it's going to be wank. And then you watch the PV, and it's like, man, this is brilliant. This is a bunch of people who work <laughs> on a train, defending the train yeah. from bad guys. Yes. Oh, that's my so God. Awesome. The PV is like, I don't know how it can look so good. Like, yeah. aesthetically, the aesthetics look really fucking good. And I'm, you're just like, what the fuck, man? It's about trains and <laughs> shit. But, Dude, I like sexy, trains. Sexy trains. What can I say? By freaking Studio Pasho. Yeah, what are they? Yeah, done? like who have done like, nothing. Yeah, man, this is like my dream series. It's like this is what I would come out of the gate with if I made my own studio. It'd just be <laughs> Rail Wars, and it'd be like, wow, this is the best thing ever. Like you, you know, for a fact, next time we see a show by this studio, we're gonna be like, man, these guys made Rail Wars. <laughs> They're a contender. Yeah, <laughs> like fuck you, yeah. fuck UFO <laughs> Table. Pasho is the best. Dude, uh, studio. speaking of, we'll talk about fucking UFO Table later because man. There's some stuff that can contend with them. But right now, we actually have to go through some stuff that I don't really care about, which is Hamatora. the re Hamator, which is the second season um, of Hamator. It had the worst ending of anything I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I oh my God. just. And on the I grounds of that, it. I'm not going to watch season two. Wow. Well, that's the, the first season words. of Hamatora was, 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 it was. It was passable. Like, honestly, to a point, like, it was poorly animated, but I could forgive it for that. Um, but it, it was relatively entertaining. It was just this simple little thing about people with psychic powers, and it was like, you could just sit, put it on, and relatively enjoy it. But the ending was just garbage. Absolute garbage. And I'm like, you know what? That's funny. You've, you've done you've done this stupid ending, and then you put a to be continued at the end, and I was like, <laughs> look, I'm just not going to watch season two. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, it literally says, the final episode of Hamatora ended with to be continued. So mm-hmm. it's like... The You're official like- Hamator Twitter account has confirmed it will continue. <laughs> oh my god! So Twitter, thanks now Twitter, confirming shit. Yeah. So th- yeah. Thanks. Thank Twitter. you for thank you for doing exactly what it said on the tin. <laughs> yeah. It said to be continued, and then it will continue. That's good. <laughs> thank you, anime. Thank you, Twitter, for giving us all the information we did not <laughs> already. Right. It's it's more than Hero Man did. Hero Man said to be continued, and there's no Hero Man <laughs> season two. Why are they making more Hamatora when we could have Bones make season two a Hero Man? So I guess uh, Hamatora is shit. So moving on, we have. Oh, Mano Shin yeah, this is like a more like. It's just freaking Nanana again. Yeah, it's literally just Nanana. This is like a less interesting version of Nanana. Yeah, there's a ghost girl it's... in his room. <laughs> just like, yeah. okay, where have I heard that before? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's, it's really, there's a really lot of that shit going now. around in Japan recently. Man, that one girl has nice knockers, so I'm definitely gonna watch this. <laughs> putting it on a high priority list. Um, <laughs> that one girl on the right, the top right. Looks like, um, what's her name from SAO? A man. <laughs> the correct term is a man. Silica. Silica from SAO. Silica, thank you. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure yeah. out in, in... Like, quick glance, she does. She also looks a bit like that one from Outbreak Company. Oh, yeah. Um, m- m- the, 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 the maid from Outbreak yeah, Company. And she's, wearing, and she's wearing Madoka's outfit. Yes. <laughs> so oh, she she's is. Yeah. Yeah. I think the yeah, most important right. thing, knockers aside, is that they've gyroids from Animal Crossing on the ground. And I was <laughs> like... Is this Nintendo <laughs> official? Is this uh, is 
this a real thing? Or are those just like poop covered dildos? Like a lot of the questions arising. Hugging, the girl that's hugging him looks like a short haired version of Nanana, actually. She's flying yep. in the air. She's wearing the same fucking clothing as Nanana. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> same same color this is literally one of those shows that comes out like what happened with Mao Sama, where it's like Nanana's popular. Let's make something <laughs> identical. Yeah. Oh my god. Kotaro begins yeah. his life living alone in an apartment that blah 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 and it's haunted by cute ghosts. What? What? Yeah. Yep. Yep. What a story. Well, Jean, I, I think your research didn't pay off because it sounds like you just learned this. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you just repeated what they said five minutes ago. Now reading the intro? I know, but oh my god. Okay. Jean. Yeah, Jean. I know, I know you're not going to watch this one, but watch Nanana because Nanana is brilliant. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I'll take your recommendation. You should. <laughs> Man, the next one, which is Sa- that Baka recommendation. Which is Sama Gebu, which is made by Studio Puria. Try saying that six times fast. Yeah, it'd be t- it'd be it'd be difficult. It'd be like Sakuga, just with Sakuga. a weirder Sakuga. pronunciation. Sakuga. She's a gun now. And whenever I was watching this uh, PV for this, uh, I was like, "Is this Upote?" And it wasn't. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, that okay." So I wasn't wrong in assuming. It's yeah. like, I, I thought it was like a mix between like Upote and c 3 Boo. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Well, all, all I want yeah. to happen is in the first episode, someone to go, Oh my god, Senpai, she's got a piece! <laughs> Dude, she's carrying that medal. She's got of a course. piece, man. Dude, she does have a piece. Yeah. And she's got a side duck. Yeah. <laughs> With a goatee. Or not a goatee. With a, that's What the fuck? I can't it's tell. A, it's a, it's a duck-billed that. platypus. That, that, that's a duck-billed platypus. <laughs> like, there's nothing to it, Ken. It's a mouth. Is the yeah, word that's you're not his for. goatee. That's like his foot. That's in the up position. Yeah, that's that's the perspective forward. shift. Yeah. I, I, either that, or it's just a side duck, but he's taking a banging shit on her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I like that interpretation. That's better. actually his it's wallet. Good, it's like Link. He has a bag of rupees, and he's just hitting her with that money. <laughs> so, a lot of artistic interpretations of a. Uh, Oh, he's just showing her a bigger black dick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, we're, if Gar knows where dicks are, but they're usually not in your butt. Send us your hand cannons in the comment section. Yeah, it, it does just look like it's going to be like that um, that guy in Act True with the yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I've heard that's I've, I've heard that's awful. <laughs> it's it is awful. You'll hear my thoughts about it soon enough. But it's all right. I think it's going to be great because she's getting pooed on by Psyduck. So that that's yeah. one point for this Psyduck. in comparison yeah. to the. Man, and the next one, which is Serai uh, Sunai Blade Dance, uh, which I'm nuts about because, as we talked about earlier, it is the exact same production staff of High School DxD, like down to the director. It's just the exact same, literally the exact same team. Of it's people. it's the exact same. <laughs> so it's it's like Diamond Deller and High School. So DxD, it's going to be a one that like no, don't different. watch this, don't watch it this season. You want to wait for the Blu-ray so you can see yeah, the nipples. Wait, for the, wait six months, <laughs> wait for the BDs so you can see nipples, or wait for the ATX version, uh, whichever comes first. Yep. Yeah. And that's usually how this plays or out. Or it could be one of those brilliant shows that airs uncensored. Yeah. That happens like a- <laughs> very, very occasionally. Yeah, straight to air ATX. Yeah. Like freaking... Um, <laughs> yeah, straight to air ATX. <laughs> like, like um, what's it called? Um, So I Can't Play H aired uncensored. Right, right, right. And, and that, that was... A crap show, but it had nipples in it, so it was really, really enjoyable for penis. Yeah, reasons. the the, the Rias look alike. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, penis it's reason. the one with uh, she has she has a scythe and she's like, I'm gonna fuck shit up. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there was Wax Romance, which doesn't have nipples, but man, the scene where in the where they're in the barn with like the bondage and shit. Oh my god, that fucking scene it, is amazing. It's literally the best thing <laughs> ever. Watch the show for that scene; you won't regret it. If you Walter like. Romanzi is an etchy series that does what it needs to because it Man. was absolutely hilarious and entertaining. It's really fun. Reasons. I really it, liked it, was, it. It was really funny. Yeah, I really like it. Um, but speaking of sequels, uh, we have the another sequel to Sengoku Basara, which is Judge End. Uh, if you don't know already, Sengoku Basara is a video game series and it's been going on for a while. Yep. And this... Is I assume it, do we have confirmation on the studio? Because I think the last ones were IG. If yeah, I'm they, not it's it's like the first two seasons and the film were IG. So surely oh, yeah. it's going to be IG, even though I couldn't see anywhere um, that it's been confirmed. But it's, I don't, I can't see it switching studios at this point. 
Yeah, I can either. Uh, uh, it's, it's adapting the third game, yeah. and I am looking forward to watch this after I've watched season two, because I've, I've only watched season one at this point, because for some stupid reason they didn't release season two on Blu-ray in England. Hmm. But um, once I've watched season two, I'll watch the film and this. Because Sengo Kapsara is bloody entertaining, because it's hilarious. So yeah, um, it's for everyone else I've for just... everyone else who's watching this, are you ready? Put your guns on. Nice. But yeah. Alan, are you ready for Shiogane no Ishi Argevelon? Man, I actually really am. Yep. I I was really skeptical at first, and then I saw the PV, and I was like, all right, he's looking at a button blushing. I was like, I, I know that feel. That's, that's so relatable. And I was like, but why? <laughs> Why? Is he, is he a straight man? And that's what I assumed. But then I saw that it was directed by uh, Asushi Oshishi, Osuki, mm-hmm. who's the director of Lady vs. Butlers and Kanakon and To Love Your Darkness. And so Sweet. this is just so outside. Well, those three specifically are so far outside of what he's doing with this. Yeah. I'm just like, how the fuck? What does this even mean? Yeah, I, I really don't get why he's involved in it. But honestly, like Zebic, they don't have a good reputation. But I've seen quite a few Zebic mecha series. Yeah, and like whilst uh, Broken they haven't Blade. been. Yeah, I mean, Bro- Broken Blade is ma- mainly IG, but Zebic were involved. Yeah, they made and, all Lagrange. Yeah, and, and Bro- Broken Blade is like one of my favorite modern mecha series. But Le- Lagrange was enjoyable. Heroic Age was yeah. enjoyable, and Fafner's meant to be pretty good. So. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be amazing. I don't think it's definitely not going to be make a series of the season because Al Noah Zero is there. and Gundam. Right. But Man. I'm going to definitely going to watch it just because I'm one of those knobheads who watches anything if it's got robots in. You're a robot yourself for watching it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Sarah, um, next mm. show. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Do you, did you want something to say to me, Ken? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts? Are you going to be watching Shonen Hollywood Holly Stage for Forty Nine? I think Gene and I are both going to be watching Shonen Hollywood Holly. Stage for forty nine, right, Gene? Why not? Totally. Two D men. Two D. I'm Man. ready. Life? I'm ready. They're all about all these women are just about flicking the bean and not making the salads. <laughs> What's up with that? Why forty nine and not sixty nine? Man, hold it. Do, do you know what this? I've just realised. No, I did not, Garen. <laughs> this cast is basically just Mentaku versus Femtaku. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just like the guy's guy just like, just like yeah. yeah, tits, uncensored tits. No, yeah. Yeah. we got we got some yeah. pretty good shows this season. We this really do, our Gene. Female oh. audience that is not as big as our male audience, but still. <laughs> you mean it hails in comparison? This season has not failed us. Oh, girls, like girls, all the girls watch. who are watching Pataku right now, this is our this is our season. This, this is our time. All I'm gonna say this is, is women are women are asking for it, so I'm just gonna throw that out <laughs> we there. We got that summertime <laughs> madness women, going on. Women are asking for it. I'm gonna be the advocate <laughs> <laughs> and just say the words you never wanted to hear, Miss Feminism 2014. Um, I think what's really interesting about this that I think you guys are neglecting to realize though, was being a sequel to something that was never adapted yeah. is, is it's, weird. It's a bit strange, because it's, like, it's set several years after the light novel. It's like, okay, go read the light novel, I guess, or you're fucked. Well, they're obviously going to make it accessible to people who haven't read it, but yeah, cause it yeah. is a bit strange. The more people it watching like it, the better. But I think that's the main thing, and that's shown in Hollywood as a, um, as a text is a mixed-media project. And every kind of every part of this project is um, doing a different thing and set in a different place. It's not literally like here is a manga based on this. It's like here's a light novel, here's other stuff, and they're all kind of connected, but not like the same thing. Okay. So I yeah. guess that's cool, just for people who are really into it um, for what it is. But for anyone just coming into it, it does seem a bit strange. They're like, yeah, here's your anime. If you actually want to know anything else about this universe, um, you need to go and read a light novel. But let's face it, nobody cares about the universe. They're just coming for how sexy these guys are. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. like Makaka City actors. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. It. But and then the only problem is, like, it's 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 about an idol group, so it's competing with like the best the genre has to offer. Yeah. I mean, if you if you, if you're trying to make a uh, show full of pretty guys, no nah, man, it's competing with uh with Uta Like, like opposite yeah, Uta of. Oh. Because because yeah. Uta Pri is amazing. Yes, it is. So. If it's anywhere near as good as Utapri, then it'll be great. If it's not, then it probably won't be, but oh well. <laughs> so we, we have two options it. here. I will be good watching that it. one, but I don't I don't think I'll be watching Space Dandy Season 2. What? Why? Space Dandy Season 2, which is the next one. catch up. Sarah, just... I want you to justify that. Because 
I Ju- Space Danny the first season never really was funny enough for me. It was brilliant. I dropped it after like six episodes or something. I loved it. I think I'm I'm gonna have to bring Garrett oh, in on this man. one. Uh, so we no, need to bring it. Just just watch episode five and episode thirteen or twelve was it? Twelve, yeah, I think. The, the, the yeah. last episode and one of them, and they were incredible. Yeah. yeah, the last episode was incredible. Episode five was incredible, and then the rest were just yeah, it was all right. They, it, was they were, it had it had its highs and lows. Like there were certain yeah. episodes that were just complete. What the hell is going on? And that, yeah. but that that is the. I did see the ramen episode. <laughs> I think I think the biggest thing I don't like about Space Dandy is that it really just has no continuity at all. No, yeah, like, it makes it I hard think, to care. Yeah, I, I don't like. I don't care about watching every episode because I realize that I don't have. They to die watch. in most of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of like taking the whole episodic thing for what it, for what it is, and that is because like every single episode has a different writer. Yeah, and it and it's, is- and it's fun watching it like that. And like a load, yeah. mo- a load of the episodes that weren't like episode five or, or the last one were still very entertaining. Like some of them, I didn't enjoy at all. Like, like there I was, was f- there was that weird one at the end where the animation was strange and everything was strange. And I'm like, what? Man, I'm watching? the but, one episode that I remember was the library one, and yeah. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I just didn't care at all about what's going. It's like I'm a book coon, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, no. I- I'm the keys to the- to galactic knowledge." And I'm like, "I don't get what's going on." And then you have the plant <laughs> one, and you're like, "What yeah. the fuck is going on?" <laughs> yeah, no, I think I remember telling this to Holden when I was watching Space Dandy. But the thing about Space Dandy is that for a lot of the episodes, for like ninety percent of the episode, you're just like, "What the fuck is going on?" This is like the stupidest <laughs> shit ever. And then for like, and then the last five minutes happens, and then you're just like. Oh, that wasn't. That was actually a pretty interesting idea they explored. Yeah, and then and then you watch, and then because the cycle just continues, you just like for most of the episode, you it's just, just like, anger and confusion. Yeah, and then you're just like, and then but you because because they end the show because they end the episodes on long liners, you're like, all right, that was uh, that was pretty good. They ended it saying something. Yeah, then, so it tricks you into think, watching more. This was a statement all along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I really I really did enjoy the first season of Space Dandy. I I, th- I yeah. thought the character, the main characters, had so much charisma. It was it was they they like, were a really fun group of people to spend time with. Yeah, like I will be watching this. I don't think I'll be watching this as religiously because like the only thing that uh that it had going against it in the winter season was like yeah it was like uh, Noragami. Mm. Noragami yeah. was so hard to compete with though. Yeah, it, it it was basically the winter was basically this and Noragami, and now there's just so much more shit. So I probably won't be watching it as religiously, but if there's a good episode, I will probably watch the odd episodes if I hear good stuff about it. Um, because I now know that you don't need to follow it every episode. Yeah, because it is completely disconnected. Like it's not like Bebop, which was um yeah. w- w- was episodic, but there was still an ongoing plot line. There was something that they were working towards. Exactly, exactly. But but Garant, but. Are you going to be watching Sword Art Online 2? Dude, no joke. I'm so fucking hyped for Sword Art Online 2. Yeah. <laughs> oh my looks, god. It looks so good. It looks so good. Dude. Hold in. Hold in. Man, back to our, uh, this is going back to COD. <laughs> yeah. I think what's yeah. really funny, Garn, and I'd like to point this out, was I remember when me and you, Garn, where we saw Sword Art Online was coming out. That was our first yeah. video together. Yeah. And, uh... We were just like, man, this is going to be the best thing ever. Dude, For the time being, oh man, God. it really was. <laughs> hold on, hold on, fucking out. I just realized something. Yeah. Last time I was in the chart discussion, I was discussing Sword Art Online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh wow. it really has been that long, hasn't it? Oh, but man, my God. Sword, Art, Sword Art Online Modern Warfare 2 is going to be just fucking amazing. Sword Art yeah, Online really Global Offensive. Yeah, it's it's I want it's Source Art Online. Fucking quick scoping M40s and like. <laughs> if I see 360 no scopes on this, I'm just gonna fucking freak the shit out. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, no, I am going to flip my shit. I'm gonna like yeah, out would be like anime of like ever. I'll be like, oh, I just did a 360 no scope. The biggest thing about this is that it has like guns, and that's such a big deal because we are not given yeah. guns in anime too much anymore. Yeah, yeah. I and think so the big, to I make think... an entire anime based around guns. It's yeah. just asking for success. I think the biggest thing is that I know exactly what to expect out of this now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna expect a good story. I'm not gonna expect a good story or characters. <laughs> but the reason I'm hyped is because it's got fucking guns and it looks like it's gonna have good action and that's that's yeah. all I want from this. Like Sword Art Online did have good action, like it really yeah. did. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah, throwing yeah. guns into the mix is not a bad thing. And you know they're gonna they're gonna pump the budget into this to make the action. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Like I'm looking forward to a really good action series. Nothing else but that. 
and I'm I'm pretty hyped for it. I'm not gonna lie, um, dude. She also has crotchless pants. It's like the best <laughs> thing ever. Yeah. It's like, dude, cosplayers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's just got fucking like P. She's like a PSG Wong, and she's just yeah. no scoping with that with crotchless pants. Fuck your femtaku shit. This is this is what we need right now. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I, I I support it simply on the vow that Kirito is a girl now. Yeah. yeah, like, like, can I, can I, like, cut a montage and like send it to Machinima? Respawn? Can we, can we just put bodies on it and just cut it and yeah, put it, send it to Machinima Respawn and just be like, this is, this is a thing now. Can we do this? Or also, I think the best thing I want to point out is that I thought it was called the game's called Gun Gale Online. Yeah. Uh, if I recall. And I like how the arc is called the Phantom Bullet. And I was like, man, Hideo Kojima's gonna be all over this shit. And he's gonna be like, <laughs> his Twitter account is gonna be so fucked. Because he's releasing Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain. And we've sorted our online the Phantom Bullet. It's just gonna be Hideo Kojima might kill himself. All all I'm looking forward to, yeah, is um because when when the original Sword Art came out, the surge of people like playing Terra and like wow and stuff who changed their name to kirito to the point where you had people whose names were like kirito 241162211243 just so they could have kirito in their name <laughs> you go yeah. play cod you go play you go play counter strike you go play whatever now you're going to have like 6000 kiritos it's going to be <laughs> like, great i'm really excited alan alan when i when i get cs go next week or whenever bt oh, we just all call ourselves because, yeah. kirito yeah it's all kirito it's like clan it's not clan jito clan kirito Dude, that's gonna be the best. I'm gonna be Leafa, by the way. Just throwing that out oh, there. Oh, best girl. I'm gonna be Leafa. It's gonna be so much fun. Also, we're gonna go long A on D D E Dust. So yep. just letting all the future clans versing us know, long our first just, play will just, always just, be just, long uh, A. Yeah, r- rush long A. Everyone's yeah, got an MP5. That'll be our first play. We'll always be rush yeah. long A. By the way, CS:GO is gonna be on sale soon, everyone. In case you didn't know, go buy it. Because yeah. uh, also, Gaben, you go to Gaben, G A B E N dot TV. Uh, really gives you all the news that you really need to know on uh, the Steam sale. Um, so I highly recommend Gaben dot TV. Um, moving from Gaben dot TV to Tokyo ESP uh, N ESPN because this is about sports now. Uh, Tokyo ESP N uh, Tokyo ESP is what I want to call it though. Is about an Esper, which is what that is. So yeah, it has nothing to do with Koizumi more. from Melancholy Paris Suzumiya, but it does. <laughs> man, I have hearing about it and like just reading about it. I'm really interested in this. I, I didn't I, think I would be. I can't I really wait. Based it. on the grounds that it is by the same original mangaka as the yeah. person who did Garay Zero, and Garay yeah, Zero oh, is just oh, really? brilliant. Like I fucking love that show, and that it's been. Really I, I've, I've, it's been so long since I've seen something like it. Yeah. And hopefully, seeing as it's by the same person, this is going to be that. Yeah, and it even uh, in the original production art for it, they even had the girls from Gare Zero in the background. <laughs> um, so, like, that was awesome. <laughs> I remember seeing that, and just everyone was like, "This is what is this? Like, how can and, they do and this? And there's a panda, and it's got a hula hoop. Yeah, because <laughs> she's using her EXP. Look how fucking adorable that panda yeah, is. Yeah, and the main character even, like, just looks, like, really pretty. I am so excited. She looks so adorable. Yeah, she no, I, like I'm all for that. Also, Bruce Lee's in the background, just throwing that out there. <laughs> so, there's a lot of cool shit going on here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, this is this is one one of the other ones up there that everyone's getting excited about, and um, with good reason. I'm really really looking forward to this. This is in my top five of things I'm most hyped about this season, easily. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm a bit more hyped for the next one. Which is Tokyo <laughs> Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah, Gene, it's gonna be as good as Pupa. <laughs> it's gonna be as good as Pupa, Gene. <laughs> don't say that, Gene. Just we because it's five chan. episodes. Oh, chan Oni chan. <laughs> the fact that they needed to get like a forty-minute cut for me to watch all of Pupa. Yeah, I did like... that. By the way, thank you. Yeah, yeah you're, you're welcome. W- you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. All. I'm really excited about Tokyo Ghoul because after seeing it, I was like, "Wow, yeah, this looks I really should. cool." I remember showing holding the PV. I showed you the PV. Let's not get our gender roles well, switched, Garant. Get well. back in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird because whenever, whenever me and Garn saw this for the first time, we were in the same room uh, at Anime Next, and yeah. we were both like, "Wow, this looks really good!" Like the animation, and everything look on, on this looks fantastic, and it really does. I will say that if, if nothing else about it, it looks pretty. Uh, it's very up Jean's alley. It's very superficial, dark horror. It's three edgy, <laughs> five me. 
um, is the best way to describe it. Is three edgy fight ghouls? Yeah, it's this extra- fight scene. I'm watching it right now. It looks really. It looks Ken, don't exactly. don't destroy the illusion that we're not studied on this. Um, but yeah, it does. It looks really cool. Can't uh, wait. I'm, re- I'm pretty excited for it, and I th- so it is five episodes, too. correct? That's why. Yeah. yeah, it has been say. so bloody long since we've had a possible like mystery horror, whatever series. Yeah, yeah really I like yeah. how it's actually uh, funny like, enough. Since, since what, like another, and even another wasn't even. It's that actually. Good. I was about to say, funny thing actually is that this series is actually confirmed to be a gender swift version of another. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, with Misaki <laughs> May being the main character. Um, oddly enough, that people didn't realize that this is actually a rule. 43. Um, so that's, that's mm-hmm. great. You know, I'm all about uh, Misaki Man over here uh, <laughs> being the man. new main character. Misaki <laughs> Man. And so. <laughs> <laughs> this is I just. Love un- how you switched it from Misaki jump. Man to Misaki Man. <laughs> Yeah, Masaki Man, and this is actually this is this is not called another. This is called yet again. Uh, again. <laughs> and so, so to Studio Periot, if if this is not another anime yet again, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Um, but yeah, but it, it looks really we, great. We uh, have we also mess. have another uh, one. Dark themed one the, here. The yeah. next one, which is oh, my man. dream Looks anime, crazy. which is Zankyo no Terror, which is just everything I want in an anime. <laughs> what, Yoku Kano. what happened? <laughs> Yoku what happened Kano. was Holden went to sleep one night, um, <laughs> and he had a dream, and then apparently Shinichiro Watanabe had a dream catcher on Holden's head. Yeah. And then he, <laughs> and then he was like, "Wow, I should just animate this dream," and he did. <laughs> it's this, this it's so fucking amazing looking in every way, yeah. thematically and just there's so much I love about it. Studio Mappa, which is what I was going to talk about, the UFO Table Killer, which is now Studio Mappa with their release of Singeki no Bahamut, which is a film that they're working on as well. These are both they they both done nothing. Like this is their first original front runner anime. Like they've worked on stuff, but this is their first. Right. We own this. This is our project. And yes. man. What a thing to come out of the gate with is these two anime. It does because look absolutely incredible. It looks yeah. like I haven't seen this level of animation since like Nagino Asakara and Fate Zero. Like those are the two big landmarks last time. And this yeah. just looks amazing. Everything from like the the red spray paint and all of the all just the molecules of spray like di- like diffusing while it's being thrown at the ground. It's, there's so much about it that I just love, and like the IED explosives, just the premise is just so fucking oh, yeah. good. It's there's there's so much. We, we, like, we can finally get some decent antiheroes again. Is what I'm picking up from. Yeah, here. that's yeah. what I was that's, really looking forward to. It's been so long since we've had something like that. Yeah, I think the last one wasn't even really an antihero. It was just uh, the guy from Log Horizon, and he wasn't even an antihero. He was just nah. like. He's just I, I plan stuff. <laughs> he was similar. To, he was similar to antiheroes, but he himself was not one. Oh man, do you um, expect like everything's going to blow up? In, as it says, it's going to happen on this summer day, and then it just cuts to these two guys, and they're just like, just as Keikaku. Man, <laughs> that's that's all I want. All I want is for them. I just there's so much oh contingent God. on this because it's just going to be. It's like Code Geass. It's even just... like the even like the setting, like there are like little things that kind of just tied into like. Like, um, like, um, why can't I talk today? Ken, um, with those words. Um, because you slept in. I, have, you, have you woken up yet, Ken? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, there are things that tied into. There are things that tied, the th- tied into. There are things that tied into present day. Like, even little things like in the PV, you can see, like, present day YouTube. Yeah, he was even like, using an iPhone 5 iOS, like, the yeah. camera. Like, it's little just, things like that. It's dude, like, there's also guns it, in it. Like, that's nuts. It's It can tie it into, like, to the present, which is yeah, awesome. There's a lot of yeah. things I really yeah. like about it. Like, the fact that he was, like, using a soldering iron to make an IED. I was like, yeah. holy shit, that's what you actually do. Not that I know about how to make bombs or anything, <laughs> or have, like, a proficient background in terrorism, but yeah. this is, like, this is exactly what I dream of. Yeah. Uh, basically, the guy, the guy on the left is Holden with his hair dyed. Everyone. Yeah, and, and Megane. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, but this. Well, he takes those off later, so it's this great. Is definitely gonna. This, I'm sure this is everyone's pick for one of the anime of the season. Yeah, definitely. It's not anime of the yeah. year. We yeah, haven't even mentioned yeah. the Shinichiro Watanabe, and I think this is obviously yeah. the first time we've had two <coughs> Watanabe shows in one season before. Yeah, and Yoko, and Yoko Kano. And Yoko Kano. Yeah, yeah, and Yoko Kano. Completely yeah. blanking over that somehow. Yeah, yeah. Studio um, Mappa though is just. 
They're just like we're we're not just a contender. We're we're one of the top. Like yeah, this is gonna make them. They, it's they amazing the how they just literally come from nothing and just immediately kicked o- kicked open the doors and we're just like, by the way, <laughs> look we're what making <laughs> look what we made. <laughs> it's just studios are so it's so rare that a studio like usually you know if PA works they make true tears you know that's not much <laughs> of a statement when you kick open the doors and you're like oh I made Sankosa no tear that was her first try and I was like holy <laughs> shit like <Yeah. laughs> what are these people doing. Like, this is, and it really does compete. The The only comparable thing really is UFO Table, because they're the only studio that's, like, superficially, like, this good looking. And secondly, touch source material that has the potential to oh, be as just, good as this let, is. Let, do, do you think it is going to be that all the way through, though? Or do you think they kind of sugarcoated the trailer to make it, make people more excited? I don't know. I really hope it's not the case. Yeah, I, if they did, I'd, I'd say it's possible that it's going to dip. I as guess lots we, of things we do, will see but, because it's yeah. a trailer and trailers yeah. are there for hype. And um, it's, but it's like Fate Zero. It's like we never thought Fate Zero would be like that. We knew it would be really good, yeah. but we had no idea it'd be like that can like consistently. So I think what's really, really really interesting is that this is like the only comparable thing I really have is Fate Zero because mm-hmm. that was. So this is either like going to be one of the top anime of the season or just like the biggest cock tease trailer <laughs> ever. <laughs> well, in no matter what, I'm going to like it. With, with, with yeah. it being Watanabe and well, everything, I can't see this being bad. No matter. Yeah, what there's happens. no yeah. way. They, like, if this was going to end up going to be bad, they wouldn't have been able to pay names like that. Yeah, yeah like Yoko Kano and Watanabe. Hell, like, the premise in itself, like, I mean, it has sold me already. <laughs> Like, yeah. this, this this isn't this isn't summer 2014. This is freaking Zankyo no Terra versus Elden Noah Zero this season, which is better. Yes. Yeah. yeah, basically. And so it off from mine. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's got guns in it. Love stage. It's it's funny how that was last on the Black list Butler. because yeah, yeah. It's like what a way to finish that list. Uh, yeah. I would like to mention just two films really quick. If uh, not well, three. We, we've got yeah, it's quite Sense a short roll. list. We could go through. All yeah, we films. can go through this really quick. Uh, the Sense Roll, uh, the second yeah. film of Sense Roll. Uh, Sense Roll is important because it was uh, Asuya Yuki's like love child that he made a while ago. He did like yeah. a lot, if not all, of the animation, as I believe. Yeah. Uh, the ending theme was own. by was by Supercell, and yeah. it's love and roll. Yeah, love and roll. Uh, that was a huge. That was actually the name of the album, wasn't it? It even contained yeah, uh, Monogatari stuff. No, no. Wait, was it the name of the album? Yeah, it was along with the, the stargazing, and she's like pointing her finger, and she's like, "Look at that shit over there." Was, I thought the name was Kimi no Shinrai Monogatari. Hey, Ken, I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> you are Ken, right. Ken though, is like number one <laughs> Supercell fan. So. Yeah. yeah, he's also oh. a shit, and w- we came here late, so you're still yeah, getting docked yeah. pay. I love um, how it says the premiere so. date for it is January first, nineteen seventy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, That's Annie Chart. So, Annie Chart so, always does that. Josh Starr, you little shit. Like, what like, have you done this time? Like, YOLO. Yeah. We'll see it like 25 years. Um, That's like the past. new Metal Gear Solid 5 <laughs> trailer. It's like Annie coming in 1984. The more info tab actually had more info on it. <laughs> like 25 years. <laughs> it's like 30 that? years in the past. Yeah. It's like 40. 35, 44. 40, 25 years. 44 years. <laughs> I'm That's still right, like, using the two thousand. I'm still using the two thousands as reference. So, <laughs> yep. you're you're Asian. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, not really. <laughs> you're Asian. <laughs> it, it sounded like that came out. Of no, that was like no context whatsoever. It's like <laughs> you're Asian. You know what? I, I zoned out the conversation, and all I heard from you was. <laughs> you you Asians, That's so funny. <laughs> go cook your rice and eat your noodles. I was about to say, Gar. I was about to make a rice joke. <laughs> Why don't you just go home, Gar, and just fucking do origami or something? I don't care. <laughs> um, you know, like you guys have like your fucking uh, Xbox ones and your PS4s you know, I'll just sit here sit here with my couch later. That's, that's my next gen game console dude get that that 58008 flip that shit bro <laughs> what's it say oh my god that's, uh, team of high <laughs> defenders right here yeah. um yeah I think it's gonna be interesting anyone who's seen the original it's pretty good uh mm-hmm. I liked it a lot uh so I'm really interested to see the second one I wonder if it will have as much passion as the first one did. Uh, but moving also, on really quick. We have a Ghost, Ghost in the, the Shell Arise. Arise. The third yeah. f- one film, which is named Has, has anyone here actually watched any of Arise yet? No, I'm waiting no. for Arise. Because I've, I've been meaning to, but just haven't. No. I've been waiting for Arise. I'm really... I think this... I don't think this is the final one. I think it's like Octo the Exile Nail 4. If this is the final yeah. one, 
I will watch it, um, all of them in one go. But I've heard a lot of conflicted things about Arise. I've heard that on its own, it's pretty cool. I think I've, the only thing I've heard is that the worst thing about Arise is that it's related to Ghost in the Shell. That's the only thing I think I've heard about it. Right. <laughs> Was that if it wasn't Ghost in the Shell, like it didn't have that in the name, it'd be really cool. Uh, but I, 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 I get, get that, upset. I guess. Because there are so many things in which it's like, yeah, this is related to this. And you but compare it to this. Yeah. But if it was just standalone, it would be a much better thing. Yeah, it's like Erica 7 AO. It's like the biggest problem. Oh, that, 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 that got cancelled. That didn't come out. Yeah, it didn't actually. We don't talk about that show. No, we don't. No. Um, beyond that, we have uh, the new Pokemon film, which is for X and Y, for all those who are interested. Um, not much to say on that. You pretty much know what you're getting with that. Yeah, there's uh, they have like a Dorymon 15 Pokemon film. films by now. Yeah. They have a Dorymon film, which I haven't seen in a long time. I haven't seen any Dorymon stuff. So I'm really mm-hmm. surprised that that's out. But I think the most interesting one is that they have the new Space Brothers Episode Zero film. Yeah, I think what's interesting about that is that the show had 99 episodes, and I love yeah. how they ended it with 99. <laughs> and they're making episode zero, so they're just not touching 100 to piss people off. And yeah. I'm like, God, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Uh, Ultimate troll. Because, man, I just love how people like Suin are just so bent out of shape that it's not 100, that's 99, and then just stopped. And I'm like, God, I love you for that. It's like they're in cahoots with me, and they're just like, yeah, fuck this girl. I, and I'm like, yeah. I think it's really, like, if I understand correctly, this is just gonna be, um, the childhood um, yeah. story of Muta and, um, I forget his brother's name. But, um, like, because we've, we've gotten most of this, like, either through flashbacks or... Yeah, that's, that's, that's what like, I've seen, I heard about from yeah. um, Space Brothers. There's so much flashbacks in it. Yeah, a lot of flashbacks and just a lot of lookbacks into the past, like, in general. Um, like, even solo episodes were just dedicated to the childhood. So, I, I don't know what this is going to contain. I don't know if it'll basically just be, like, a... Oh, God. Do you literally think, like, it is literally, like... <laughs> they, they will, they, it's not a compilation film of, like, the series. It's just a compilation of every flashback. <laughs> every flashback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I actually wouldn't mind. That just sounds unbearable. I, I know. Well, the thing is, is that their childhood stuff actually wasn't that bad. I, I actually kind of liked it. Um, but uh, I don't know. I well, the first thing is I have to finish the show. I'm on like episode sixty, <laughs> so there's just a yeah, lot. Yeah, you, you made mo- a review of it. Yeah, I made a review of it. <laughs> and wow. you didn't finish yeah. it. Lies um, much. But <laughs> um, yeah, it, hopefully it'll be interesting. Um, yeah, that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Yeah, it probably will be. Yeah, which is good. I never really disappoint. It's just long. Yeah, I, I always like just like for... the idea of like love between family members and how close they. I are thought you were about to say love between guys. <laughs> no. Then I made sure I, <laughs> I was going to get okay because really I realized I realized I was going to word that wrong, so I tried to fix it <laughs> mid sentence. But um, no, I like. I like family aspects a lot, and this might have that intertwined into it. Yeah. So I not think that is somewhat, not nice. really. Space Brothers is about two guys who just happen to be brothers. This is what it feels like usually. It's usually like, uh, yeah, it's because it's I like mean, they both have their own problems in relationships, and they just yeah. like they happen to be family. They members. use family as a catalyst for things the progression for the um, for the NASA art. Yeah, um, because it's it's a competition thing. It's yeah. more like a brotherly competition than like, oh, we're family. Oh, it's, family, it's, yeah, family it's not like we're friends. It's like, I'm yeah. going to conquer you, brother. Like, <laughs> like it, some it, fucking oh, virtual course, Dante of, shit. Of course, it's just... it, it, is, it is like, you know, family in, yeah, like, of in course. that sense too, but like, not no. the main, it's not the main. It's not, like, it's not like Summer Wars. It's not like, yeah. guys, together we can yeah. overcome this. It's like, no, we're going to be the best in our respective fields. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think Next, that's the biggest uh, thing. I uh, wait for you want to go over the shorts as well or the only thing I want to mention in the shorts is that they have a second season of Strange Plus and I'm like how the fuck did they do that <laughs> it's so soon as well <laughs> yeah it's like what that, that was what? like what that was winter that Strange Plus came like, out why why what yeah. is going on here I don't did it just take a season to make an entire anime granted it's short but I have heard there's... that Yamano Susume the first season was actually really good yeah I so heard that, that was good too that, I that, didn't that getting a second I... season is quite cool. I needed the show to finish in order to even consider watching it again. Well, just look, was... doesn't that picture just literally say Ken's taste in anime? It does. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. It's, just, I, I, it's I, cold. It's just cold. Watching it, we- <laughs> watching it weekly um, wasn't working for me, so I'm going to try to pick it up again, and I'll probably just let this run and 
watch it again. I'm going to watch Hime Goto because I really need something to replace Magika to Assistant San when it finishes. Yeah, that's <laughs> a trap. Man, it's like the short length of Magika to Assistant San is just perfect for me. I love it because yeah. whenever I yeah. start, whenever I need to start watching anime in a day, it's like it's the perfect thing to start it off because I feel like I accomplished something yeah, that's and when thing. I really with, didn't. With, um, with a show like Mangaka San to Assistant San and um, Tanara no Sekikun, they yeah. are, they're, they're short series, but they're not like five minute series. So you yeah. still get enough of an episode to be like, yeah, I have actually gotten something out of this experience. But then when you have stuff that's like literally like the four minute episodes where with an opening and ending, you have about two minutes of material. It's like Pupa. Like yeah. Pupa, yeah, like Pupa, whatever yeah. it was on Changakita that came out that season that was just awful. Yeah. But like with these the ten minute shows, I, I like them. I like having one on the go every season. Yeah. Like Holden, and like to to what you were saying, um the part of the reason why I'm falling behind so much this season is because Tanari Sekikun's over. <laughs> and I have and that was usually what started off my day. I told you, it was the catalyst yeah. that would get you to watch anime, because uh, it felt yeah. like you were watching anime, but you really just it was a placebo is what it was. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I loved Tsunari no Sekikun. That show oh, was, that show was so charming. Uh, the Chogi versus Chess. <laughs> oh my god. Man, so I think the, my favorite one was when, was whenever they had the slice of life with all the Megatrons and Transformers <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah. the last and they were just episode? drinking coffee and stuff. It was great. The last episode was pretty intense. There's also the um the driver's ed. It's one. a great show. You should go watch it. it I love the driver's they ed. They were all good. Come on. The freaking like yeah. the wall climbing up the guy in front of him. Yeah. Back. That was yeah. amazing. And then he's shining shit like pencil boards and whatnot. Yep. Oh, we have things on the OVAs too. Look at this. Yeah, we do. Yeah, the, the OVAs are pretty. Easy. Ananatsu de Matsu. Yeah, right? Ananatsu de Matsu has an OVA, oh, which was like, what the fuck? I'm excited, man. Yeah. That was something that I was like, I was so content with the fact that we might never ever get this or something. And I, whenever I saw this, I was like, holy shit, dreams do come true. Yeah. And yeah. I can't yeah. wait to watch this. I was so yeah, happy about that. One thing on the OVA list that I'm definitely. I think the only thing, the only thing, other thing worth mentioning is that for my boy Ken and my other boy yeah, Alan, which is Nan Nan Bury. Nan Nan Bury. Like, oh, oh that show. If it's literally just basically like another episode of the series, I'm all over that. I'm all yeah, like, no, no, no Alan, that. Alan, Alan. In the TBA, right? Yeah. There's a second season. I didn't even know the second season existed. Oh, God. Or announcement. Um, so that's a thing. Yeah, Nan Nan Bury is wonderful. And yeah, I'm no, 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 get funky. I, I also want to mention get the Girls funky. and Panzer OVA just because Girls and Panzer is hilarious. And I'll probably yeah. check that out just because it's a really, really silly dumb show. Got more, <laughs> more mocho. Yeah, more mocho. God knows what they're going to do with an mocho OVA because usually when you have an Etsy series, the OVA is just like, right, let's go. Everyone's naked. <laughs> Hi to Gotiku fans. Um, it's so true. Hi to Gotiku fans. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, we're not getting the another freaking, anime like, series. But. Has anyone seen the Sekirai OVA? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. literally, this, the Sekirai OVA is literally like, all right, all of these battle girls, this episode, they're going to go and have like a body check. And it's just all of yeah. them naked being measured. Well, it's like uh, the Mankenki OVAs were just like, <laughs> let's freaking, do this. The freaking Icky Tucson Dragon Destiny OVAs with just <laughs> everyone naked in a hot spring. The yeah. fucking um, Drifters of the Dead. The oh, high school yeah. of the just dead an island. Everyone oh just God, naked on an everyone, island. It was beautiful. Everyone was getting high on cherry blossoms. Yeah. Like, man, OVAs and Etchy series are like, hand, go it's, hand in hand. That's really where well. they belong. They should just yeah. stay there, man. Dude, well, it's, um, like, uh, it's like the, the uh, Kiss Like Sis OVAs, how it's just yeah. so much better than the series, because it's just... I don't know. This, this series was... I, I haven't seen, I think, the last two, but... The, the series definitely has the most ridiculous thing that happened in Kiss Exodus. Yeah, which is the taking a while. Why do we somewhere? always fucking talk about Kiss Exodus on season <laughs> previews? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. I think it's because it's such a, it's such a thing that like always comes back to it. it is, it's like it's like Kevin Bacon in anime. It's the measuring stick for actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, uh, I got a question. Of I don't course. know if it's just me, but. Was Kantai Collection on the list before, and it's just not here now? Yeah, it was on the list before. We we talked we talked about that earlier. Oh, yeah, we talked yeah. about Mekamusume. because yeah, Kanko Kan yeah. was meant to be, and is still <laughs> supposedly coming out in summer, just not on this list anymore. Okay, so I don't know. It's either been cancelled or pushed back and delayed without us knowing when it's going to be, but yeah. still talked about it. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and we're done! <laughs> so we're done. We got uh, it all out there. First six person, uh, Jitaku. <laughs> For the record, I was, ne- I was never meant to be here, and my job was just to basically shout random abuse. 
Um, which I actually, I actually think worked pretty well. I think yep. from this from this podcast song, we just should just have a guy who's there. Who's just there. Dude, go on. Do you know what we should do? You're the spokesperson for the audience. No, what we should do is we should have a hype man. Like, every member has a hype man. And it's just the best. Yeah. Um, just, that'd be yeah. great. Just, um, but just, just a guy to shout random abuse and make shitty jokes in the background. And yep. yeah. not, not be involved in the conversation apart from that. Uh, yeah, that'd be yeah, fantastic. It, it was it was fun being the whatever member in this podcast. The like, sixth. Yeah. The, the oh man, one. you're you're Kuroko. <laughs> I, no, I'm the Phantom Sixth member. You're Kuroko, oh, man. Alan. Yes, yes, I'm Kuroko. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm Tiger. Because <laughs> I'm taller than Garant. Yeah. And I'm white. I'll be your shadow any day, Holden. Man, take that fan base. Careful, you'll feel the fan fiction. <laughs> Man, there were just just throwing this out here. This is not plain to anything. But if anyone has seen the Tristan X Holden fan fiction, it's pretty mental. Um, <laughs> I asked someone to I asked someone for a fan fiction during my live stream, and someone tweeted at me was like, "Here you go." <laughs> yeah, it was pretty nuts. It was a lot of blonde on blonde action. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, with me today, helping with this chart, uh, we did Gene from Anime Appraisal. All right, guys, and until next time. My boy, Garant, who I haven't done a seasonal chart with since the very first episode, episode double O, the Holden seasonal. Encyclopedia. It's not a record, I hate seasonal chart uh, discussions, but uh, it, was, it was fun sitting in on this one and uh, letting you guys take the reins. So, yeah, uh, it's been Gigok. Uh, Th- yeah. Thanks for hosting, Garant. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>, thanks. <laughs> That's why he's Thanks in. for your internet <laughs> Well, for the record, next time, Ken, uh, if you do this again, we will have to fire you. you know, really. yep. <laughs> show, show up, man. Show up. Yeah. Yeah. For a little bit of professionalism. Thanks. That would be appreciated. It would go a long way. <laughs> yes. We need some... Prof- yeah. Uh, and then also with me, I have Sarah from 42 Believer. Thanks for having me here. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. And then I got my, my boy, my fellow member of Team Hype, Alan. Team Hype. From Baka Shift. Yep, it's been wonderful. I always enjoy a seasonal discussion, and we will see you next time. Yeah, and then my final guy with me is the always late but never fashionable <laughs> Kenneth Bolito from Full Circle Anime Reviews. I'll be sure to wake up next time. Okay, Ken, well, you missed a perfect opportunity better. to say that a wizard is never late. Wake up, girls. <laughs> yeah. Man. Well, um, I think a we pedo is never late, and neither is well. he early. He arrives exactly when he means to. <laughs> Kenneth is never late, everyone else is simply early. <laughs> hey, Ken, by the way, yeah, don't up? check your voicemail. You might not like what you find. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go check my voicemail. I'm pretty sure I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty don't sure. Don't check your mail either. I think we all just sent turds. We, um, <laughs> we were just like, "Fuck you, Kenneth. Why aren't you fucking here?" <laughs> don't take you. Don't take, check your Snapchat either, and don't <laughs> screenshot it. I will know if you did. <laughs>